Yo, welcome, hello, um, this is a follow-up, uh, I thought I'd have more to say, just some remaining comments, um, tidying up and miscellaneous comments, uh, from video 12, all the little mini parts and, uh, just random stuff. Uh, one thing I did, I forgot to mention is, uh, I noticed on Facebook there's, a, a guy going around, uh, doing like trolling like pr circling dragons that aren't obviously aren't dragons like I was into the whole mud fossil thing for a little bit and uh, I don't know I'm still open to it but um, I don't know I, while this does kind of look like a head and like a wing or whatever um, I just want to say that <laughs> uh, there was a, a guy I'm not sure if this was his work but he was just like circling random stuff and calling it dragons so this might be due to that um, or it might be a fucking dragon, um, freaking, sorry, um, that's that, uh, this all I want to say, Half Moon Bay, this, uh, if you remember, I talked about this, like, thing, structure sticking out here, I just want to say, it's almost certainly, like, s modern structural reinforcement, like a pylon or a casing, or caisson, or whatever they're called, um, my dad's in construction, and I showed this to him, and he was like, yeah, it's pretty much what that is. Um, so, most likely that. Although, we do see this is Southern California. Stuff like this is a little weird, peeking out of the coast. This is either at Laguna Beach or Corona Del Mar. I couldn't quite find the exact lo location. I think it's one of those two, but there's these things, which could be uh, pylons or uh, foundational reinforcements. It's a little weird looking, but, uh, 50-50, whatever. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, in the, f in video one, the first video, part one, I said, uh, I mentioned, like, creating a hashtag for this, like, hashtag the tooling of Earth, um, but I just wanted to acknowledge that that's a little presumptuous thing, I, as I have, like, three people watching my videos, um, but I, or you can use the hashtag. I don't care. All right, next up, you probably remember me showing these islands in the Philippines with the crisscrossy grid type pattern, whatever this is, you know. And I finally figured out what it is. It's mangrove forests. Uh, it's a type of plant tree, like a aquatic tree. Uh, that's what this is. Apparently there was a community effort in 1957, like a large-scale effort to plant all these mangrove forests. And I'll show you some pictures of it. So here we go. Here's uh, Balakasag Island. And you see it here, these mangroves. I think the plants, the mangroves are about like 10 feet tall or so between like 5 and 15 feet and get a couple different looks here here you see it also grows on land so this is the roots and uh, it's Cataban Island world famous Padden Highway in Banacon Island a mangrove forest with a kilometer long water highway in the middle, which we kind of saw a moment ago. Yeah, so here's that water, that highway, Banacon Island. So yeah, these neat rows of mangroves, and apparently they were planted in uh, 1957. The Banacon, blah, 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 mangrove forest community effort that started in 1957. So, just an update, that's what this is. These corridors of mangroves like this. And, um, here's another look at a corridor, or just a gap through the, kind of a water road through these mangroves. And apparently it's just, uh, Pretty simple stuff, so no tomfoolery here. Although, in this video, I did find, where is this? 
uh, it's one of these islands, but I did find, uh, something slightly weird. So some of these rivers have, like, ribbing or weird paths across, and I'll let it play and we'll see some of that. Could be just from modern activity, and then we have these, this could be, like, to combat erosion or something, modern efforts, just worth pointing out. Not sure what it is, whether it's like wood or concrete or something, but it's pretty large scale. Um, like you see that, see that boat, how big that boat was. Right there. And then these things across, so whatever that is, maybe just traditional modern stuff. And then here, uh, we also see more of these paths or something. See, see a curving one here that does this. I don't know whether that's a foot trail or what, but... Uh, just interesting to observe and take into account. Um, yeah, it, I'm not necessarily saying it's anything suspicious, but I just I'm just curious. See, that's a little I don't know. It's a little odd. Maybe I'm grasping at straws, trying to save face because the because of the mangrove flub up, but um, still think there's a slight chance, like 2%, that the mangrove forests are part of this big protocol somehow of re resurfacing the earth with weird stuff. Possibly, but I i don't know. I don't know. But it's mangroves. Um, uh, this channel I forgot to mention. Um, I watched every single video on this channel, I believe, and it's just a great overview. I'll link to it in the description, uh, all the geology and traditional theory, um, how stuff forms, and I reached out to the author of that channel and asked her about this example in Laguna Beach, see what she thinks this is, this path, or what I was calling a linear gap or whatever, and uh, Still pretty interesting, I think. One one I visited, um, I visited here, but it was uh, covered under a few feet of sand, so I couldn't get my eyes on it. But she says, from the satellite image, it's very hard to tell what I'm looking at exactly. Um, and she's like a, a uh, I don't know, a professor or a, a teacher of some kind, uh, geology, I guess. Um, she doesn't know the type of rock, but it could be a fracture, and then the waves uh, widened it or excavated it more. Or it could be, uh, she said, she mentions that the bend to the right, um, god damn it. That this bend right here looks kind of artificial. And, uh, Yeah, or it could be differential erosion, and she's not quite sure, and I'm not quite sure, but there's a more expert opinion than mine. Jesus, dick balls. Sorry, I'm trying to use key commands. A little sloppy here. Um, this, this is what I was calling like heart at the end of a line. Uh, it's just a uh, fishing trap. Uh, blah, 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 the famous Twin Hearts fishing trap. Um, so yeah, there's, I mean, obviously the design makes sense. Um, I, I, I think I see some cool stuff, but I also like surprise myself with like what an airhead I am. <laughs> but, I, and then again, I also have to say, well, it's possible that this was something else before it was a fishing trap. I don't know, man. 
But uh, this might be the heart at the end of a line thing. It might be a kind of flub up on my part. Uh, I mean, here's an example. There's, it's just that there's so many weird examples like that are shaped strangely that it's hard to um, generalize one explanation to all of them. Um, but just there's one resource telling me it's a fishing trap. It's too bad you can't Google by like thought, like what is this thing? Like if you don't know the term, you can't Google it, you know? Um, anyways, uh, this, okay, I wanted to give a quick shout out here. This guy, Zero Control, he's doing pretty good work, or really good work. Uh, this is in Lesotho, in, uh, I think, South Africa, and, uh, Ancient Builders of Africa Part 2, and he just shows a ton of, uh, examples of this phenomenon of lines over the mountain, like these right here. Like, strange, similar to the video I have called uh, Remnants of Long Walls Near a Shot Structure. It's this kind of inexplicable ribbing, or almost like ribbing or scaffolding in the mountains, which could certainly be some kind of geology, but in other cases, it doesn't quite look like that. And he shows... He's got a good eye, really good eye. Or her, I'm not... Oh, no, I think it's a guy. Um, like this one. Uh, okay, but check it out. Link in the description. Moving on. Uh, shout out to this Russian channel. It's translated, so I don't really know what the channel's called. Oh, I think it's called Dark something. Um, let me refresh. But he's got a lot of great... Uh, basically the same stuff I'm seeing. Just the, the lines and the weird patterns all over the surface of the earth. So he's seeing tons of stuff. So... Yeah, there's a lot of good people covering this right now. Um, and that's pretty much it for miscellaneous wrapping up loose ends. Um, uh, bonus section, I guess. Uh, a couple of Facebook posts I made that I don't know if I shared yet. It's kind of a preview of the upcoming uh, expansion on the Is History a Plumbus topic. Um, so I'll read you this and I'll show you these pictures. There's a suspicious trend of random wheel-like or circular features appearing in the middle of walls and miscellaneous historical constructions. Just throwing this out there that it might be an outing themselves kind of thing. A, like a calling card linking sites together, letting us know that the sites are somehow bogus. Like this is a, like a Stonehenge type deal and it's just like a, a stone wheel type thing right in the middle of it. Pretty strange. And then we also have, um, better look at it here. This random place, I think in Russia somewhere. Just kind of a non-functional circular or wheel-like component in the middle of it. And here's Petra, the, ce uh, the ceiling of one of these cave rooms. It's got like multiple layers of weird uh, um, lines and stuff. And then um, just, there's just this random shape, uh, wheel shape in the ceiling, like not appearing to do anything. It's possible it was functional, like for like a, I don't know, ceiling fan. <laughs> Did they have those at Petra? But I also noticed that there's like, well, I'll get into it more later, but. Uh, you see the tool marks here, but these tool marks also appear on top of the layer that's on top of it. So it's like a, a consistency lapse. Like, see this little tool mark looks like a continuation of this 
stroke, but it's uh, it's a different layer, so it shouldn't be continuous, you know what I mean? Uh, that requires a little more detailed analysis, but, and then these um, things which are supposedly to uh, strengthen the their segments of columns at Byblos in Lebanon, which are supposedly there to strengthen the wall. But I question how much they, they strengthen strengthen it and just seeing seeing this other stuff makes me um quite suspicious of it. Like especially this one, like did this wall really need to be strengthened? <laughs> like what's going on here? What is that thing? Um so I'm, I don't know, uh, it's like a shit show basically with like little, little calling cards and trademark moves and like the circular random thing in the middle of a wall might be one of the, uh, signatures or whatever. Um, okay. Another post I made, take you through it real quick. Um about Pompeii. This is just kind of random. I'll go into it more detail later, but again, related to the Plumbus topic. Uh, Pompeii is littered with penises and then a lot of goofy stuff that um, almost makes me wonder whether it's like uh, the whole city and, and lore behind... Um, guy had a bad day. Behind Pompeii might be like a setup or like staged or it was real and then something uh, defamed it or modified the the site somehow um, but a lot of these things look like just like goofy here's a dick on the street um, like paper mache stuff I read an article um, they, they do have real bones in them but I read an article saying that like some of them don't like either the the methods of preservation weren't sound uh, from the 1800s when archaeologists were touching these things up or they just formed an arm or whatever and there was no bones there but there there are real bones but there are also apparently uh, according to the, this article portions of the bodies which are just like dummy portions um, more dicks. Apparently the, the dicks, um, signify, like, well, there's the fertility cult and, like, the superstitious beliefs, like, blah, 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 I'll talk about it later, but, uh, or you can just Google it. And then also, like, signifies, like, a brothel, brothels nearby, but these things are so ubiquitous, like, these things appear on the sides of aqueducts. And, like, since it's raised up out of the stone, it had to be premeditated. Like, they went to... They put some thought into making sure there was a dick on, on that stone. And just the goofy shenanigans that's artwork from Pompeii. And, oh, probably the most important point of this is that most, if not all, Roman sites have... Um, the vehicle tracks pattern, or the, the tracks in stone, or... Um, like the weird, uh, weird tracks in stone, and uh, I don't think it's wagon ruts. There's a lot of inconsistencies and weirdnesses, and, uh, like, you wouldn't want to put your wagon on this, you know what I mean? You, it's, it's too uneven. Uh, it's not feasible. Like, uh, like this type of stuff. Of course, it depends on the type of stone, but, um, oh, a lot of Roman sites, like, go pick a, any any Roman site, archaeological site, and go look for this type of thing. Often not even in the street, or you'll see it just doing weird stuff. And, uh... Yeah, man. That's all I have for now. Sorry, this video is a little sloppy, but... I'm trying to get stuff out a little faster. Um, and, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, a um, couple more things real quick. Um, Las Vegas. So, related to the whole Plumbus Protocol, 
Um, so in Las Vegas, uh, there's Planet Hollywood Casino, and there's also the Mirage. So my my um, speculation here is that maybe um, th that's a truth drop, as it's called. Um, so like we live on Planet Hollywood, and it's a mirage, and then the, all the casinos are themed in various cultural, like New York, New York, uh, you've got like the Greek and Roman and castles and stuff. And I think it's trying to tell us that like all these civilizational aesthetics are like a Hollywood pop-up um, uh, show or facade or not that they're not functional, but that it's a contrived, um, cartoonish, uh, civilization, like managed, pre-managed, uh, or at least dynamically managed. Egypt, um, Treasure Island, all these different aesthetics, the Roman, the Greek stuff. And I think it's like right in your face. They're trying to tell you that like, it's a mirage and it's Planet Hollywood. And that is pure speculation, but um, just something that occurred to me, so I thought I'd share it. There's a good chance it's wrong. Um, but again, on my channel, I'm gonna be wrong about some things just because there's really no way to prove any of what I'm talking about, but I'm also gonna raise some things that were not otherwise raised, which will perhaps be refined later. Um, uh, and last thing I wanted to say, uh, I launched a Patreon page. Um, here we go. There's my Patreon. There's a link in the description. I freaking hate doing this because I don't like asking people for money, but, um, I can't really focus on building wealth while I'm uh, covering all these historical topics. Um, I want to I wanna finish by like May or June, uh, I would really like to, of 2020. But if I'm not doing it full time, um, like I just got a job job uh, just to, you know, eat food and stuff. But um, I mean... I don't know. I mean, if you have, if I were you, I'd keep your money and spend it on yourself. But, um, I don't know. If you want to donate, you can. And, um, that is it for this video. I'm not quite sure what my next video will be, but, uh, stay tuned. And I love you. And, uh... That was a little strong. I don't I don't even know you. Um